Well, here's this uh, whole house water filter. And rather than have the guy come to me uh, or bring it to somebody in town, we're going to bring it out in the country. A little bit south of here. Get a chance to see the country. Now I measured it. And it's about 40 inches high and about 43 inches wide. And that's a problem. It's also a problem because it's wet out. So I thought this might be the answer to my problem here. But once you measure this, this is a reenactment. <laughs> 36 inches is about it, and I got this stupid bar, and I can fold the seats down. About the only way to do it is to put it sideways, and so then you get to think about or measure the hypotenuse of the triangle, da-da-da-da-da. I don't think I want to put it on its corner and balance it in here, so we're going to make a run at it and hope the roads aren't too muddy. Who's this guy? I don't know. The video star is here. <laughs> <laughs> well, we're in the van, and the good news is that this guy's probably on pavement. There's a lot of roads out here that are dirt and bad, and some that are limestone and okay, but we're going to see what we find out. Here's Wheeler. Yeah. The adventure continues today. Yeah. The vlog is on. Woo. The vlog is on. <laughs> today on... The Crazy Picker Life with Wheeler, Dealer, and Banana Peeler. And just like that, we're going to come out of the city and out into the country. And I think my GPS here is taking me on a route that is not gonna be off-road for the van, but we shall see. So the gentleman that purchased this did not use the internet to find me. He used his kids and they found this uh, item that he wanted. And I talked to him for a while. He's a young 74 year old cowboy. And I don't know if we'll get to meet him here. Probably not, because we gotta take this thing into his house. But. We're gonna get the cashola. That don't look like the way to go. What's that swimming pool at the end of that <laughs> road? Yeah, small town, dirt road still. Yeah, all right, we gotta keep searching. Gotta get it rolling. See all my little ducks and stuff. What did but we- They're navigating in here and creeping all over Yeah, everything. look at that. Wow, he's- Planted the benches. He's ex tomatoes and stuff, and they went over there and they, they ate him all. There's a creep. Yeah. I can't tell if he's happy or if he's upset. It's oh, I ears. think he, he's just talking to you. He's just talking to you. Telling us what's going on. However, Terrell was over here. Hello. Okay, what do you got, Wheeler? Got some money. Woo! <laughs> Give me the money. Yeah. Well, that was interesting. Yep. Uh, <laughs> you got, uh, you have a story for every season. Oh yeah. Out of some of these uh, elder gentlemen, let's mm -hmm. just say that. I'm heading that way, so I gotta be careful. <laughs> 74 is not as... It's never now. 74 is not as far off as it used to be. Yeah. Well, we got, uh, we got to go somewhere today. So we got to get orders out and we'll talk more when we get back on the road. Yeah. Okay, well, order's going out. Can tell we're going on some kind of a picking trip. Got dividers, got totes, got some luggage up there. All we need is Wheeler. Alrighty, off on an adventure. Yeah. There's Wheeler driving. I finally got my license after how many years of. I don't know, you're like 40 years old now, aren't I you? Know it pretty much. <laughs> Tried to play uh, roll, roll reversal with the cashier when we got some snacks for the trip. I was the teenager and Wheeler was the dad, but she didn't buy it. Wow. Of course, Wheeler now is 20. Yep. 20 years old. Woo! Yeah, out of the teens, I guess. That's surprising. Yeah. Well, here we are. Um, 
was talking to Wheeler, I was trying to remember when we had uh, a Wheeler dealer alone out of state travel weekend. It's been a while. We haven't taken a lot of trips over the winter this year other than a few trips to the Denver flea market and of course the the move has been constant trips back and forth for like six weeks and there will still be some more more on that to come of course so uh, where are we heading right now Wheeler Kansas City Kansas City Missouri yeah. and what are we doing there uh, cubing competition. First one ever. First one ever. Wheeler entered and is part of a Rubik's Cube and other puzzle cubing competition. Yep. So that's all day tomorrow, Saturday. Pretty much. And if you don't know, Wheeler is uh, pretty good at the Rubik's Cube and other puzzles. He's uh, internationally known. Yeah, I should say that. <laughs> Well, you, you have YouTube with some followers and Instagram with some followers. Yep. What's your handle? KS underscore Cuber. KS as in Kansas underscore Cuber. Yep. So we're going to do that tomorrow, a little father-son thing. We're going to spend a couple days in Kansas City. And then uh, there are a bunch of totes back there. So... Lots of good questions, lots of good comments on my first couple of videos out of the shoot here. One of the questions, uh, and I think it might have been spurned by a couple of things. One, our video that, that we put out was uh, the Nintendo 64 score. And uh, of course that was a good, uh, good score. Now I have to admit, that I filmed that footage a few months ago. And so if there seems to be a, a slight continuity error there, I did film that a few months ago and then just did not release it, did not edit it until recently. And so no trying to fool anybody, but I've sold uh, two, -thirds, two thirds of that lot, probably 60% or more of that lot and uh, netted some pretty good money. So, and I'm not in a hurry to sell any of it. I've got stuff priced pretty much at, at market or maybe a little bit above. Every time I put them on sale, they, they sell a couple. Got a guy today that wants a, a Donkey Kong thing or something. So, anyway, we got a question and it was, what was your best score ever? And Wheeler and I were talking about that. We've had some pretty good, pretty, pretty good scores. It's kind of weird being in the passenger seat and actually I don't have to worry about driving. I could just talk, yeah. look around. Wheeler and I talked about some things. I mean, we've had camera items that are 50 bucks and they turn out to be close to 3,000. We've had, uh, camera lenses for 25 bucks that turned out to be over a thousand I've had loud a loudspeaker that was 50 bucks and turned out to be 900 yep. plus shipping to Japan I mean we've had lots and lots and lots and lots of wing, wing dingers every every month or two you get a wing dinger every six months you get a home run and the one with the, the Nintendo stuff that's that's right up there. That that for sure is top two or three. Just mainly because it's not in like our normal wheelhouse, and of course it's just crazy. I mean, there's so many more people looking for video games rather than like camera stuff and stuff we usually look for. So. Oh yeah, yeah. Well, vid video games are hot and they sell easy, and it's just it's a very competitive uh, on the buying end of it. Very competitive. So. Yep. Um, the other thing I think that may have spurned that question, if you've ever watched, uh, it's Garage Flips, right? Mm -hmm. Lonnie? Yep. Lonnie just put up a video, and I've, I've watched about half of it, where he ran into a, a Boy Scout uniform with some medals, pins, whatever, patches, yep. and uh, super score, you know? 
and so that might have helped spurn the uh, question if you haven't seen that you know back at you Lonnie go watch that video I don't know if I'll be able to put a link below but so the way I'm gonna answer this question is just show you a little later in this video while oh, this guy wants to yeah wants to pull over right on you. Yeah, I like it when people come by you and then they, yeah. it's worse when they slow down. Yeah, that's what I was hoping, that's what I'm watching for. They come over though and they, you know, you're, we're doing 80 mm -hmm. and they come over like one and a half car lengths in front of you and decide that they're going to, 80.5 miles an hour. Going to sit their butt right on your dash. Yep. Okay, so uh, we'll show you what the best score ever because we're still living the dream. Yep. <laughs> is, it, is it a nightmare or a dream? Uh, it depends on who you ask. Depends, depends on the day. <laughs> We're still living the dream. Yeah. All right, more to talk about some other day, some other time. It'll be momentarily for viewers. Okay, so I got something. So another, uh, another viewer said that I looked really composed in my last video where I was lifting heavy stuff to the curb and cleaning out that garage and all that, or I looked... I looked like I was uh, just, you know, just doing it without effort. Well, they also mentioned that it probably was like the the swan or the duck, where you see above the water, and the the you know the duck looks like it's just floating along, but underneath the water, the legs are going like crazy, and that certainly is what I feel like the last uh, 35 years of my life, but. <laughs> the last six weeks for sure uh, I've been trying to keep my composure but if you look at my eyes they're not puffy but they look like they're like I'm squinting they just feel sore because all my days are long and crazy crazy picker life yeah there's a plug <laughs> so <laughs> so definitely below the waterline my legs are are going uh, all directions fast at all times like a pedal boat like a pedal boat paddle boat yeah so uh kansas city we're gonna do this cube thing i may try to get out and do a little picking i want to support wheeler i want to see what he's got going in this competition he's gonna hook up with a bunch of people that he's met online mainly so he'll probably have a bunch of fun there but i want to see what's going on I don't know if I can sit there all day though. I might go. Yeah. I might take a nap. Uh, to brief you on the schedule there, but basically there's like three rounds of some events, and I'm not gonna make it past like round one or two because man, there's some crazy cubers in there. I probably yeah. won't be able to get to like round two of a couple events. But we'll so mainly most of my stuff will be early in the day and then before lunch, and then after lunch I got finals. Which will be fun. If I can film, I might try to get in there. But yeah, you know, if I go to the flea market, Wheeler, it's in the morning, so. Yep. I can't. I'll vlog on my channel. Yeah, we'll have your vlog. Maybe I'll tap your vlog into this vlog. Sure could. We'll live stream two windows at the same time. Yeah. Can you do that? You're an editing master, right? Oh, yeah. And a filming master. Oh, yeah. Back to my phone. Absolutely. That's another story. So, um, Kansas City might do some picking, and uh, then, uh, well, we're gonna we're gonna stay there a couple nights. And then we're going to head to an undisclosed location to show you the greatest score Wheeler and Dealer have had ever. Yep. Ever. And for some, of, for some of you, it might be exciting if you're new to the channel. We'll try to make it exciting. For some of you, you'll be like, oh, that looks familiar. Yeah. But regardless. <laughs> it's, a it's a score that keeps on giving, right? Regardless, it's the endless, seemingly endless fountain of youth. And we don't want to give it away. That's why we're so that's why we're so protective. Yeah, I feel like we're giving plenty away. Yeah, give give some hints, Wheeler. Let's I did. I'm saying. <laughs> okay, I gotta eat another donut. Land of the wind. We just got about a hundred of these things installed down by Colby and they're not spinning yet and we've been able to go around with the Jeep and uh, kind of monitor the construction. They've got a, a piece on the top 
there that is the size more or less of the trailer on a semi truck it's amazing how big it is so we've been able to see these things go up and and they got to get all wired in tandem i guess before they give them juice these aren't spinning uh we're getting close to salina these aren't spinning either there's literally hundreds of them out here like them or hate them time to switch drivers yeah before we do that let's go into yesterday's rose mm. antique mall somewhere i think in uh, abilene abilene kansas Woo, let's see what we can get whoa, whoa. okay Woo. in the driver's seat well we got a tip on a few more places that we probably should check out we're probably going to get this direction a little bit more now that we're this is going to be our corridor or whatever mm -hmm. but uh Number one reason I go to antique stores is not to buy stuff, which sounds weird. Yep. We do occasionally find really good stuff, including really good camera stuff. We get leads there. Uh, sometimes I buy models and uh, stuff like that. What else do we get? Antique stores. I don't know. S you know signs. signs yeah. You can find signs sometimes if you want to spend a few hundred dollars. On a sign, you might find one you can flip for double that. But the number one reason that I go to antique stores, Wheeler, you can chime in after you hear what I'm gonna say, you probably know what I'm gonna say, mm -hmm. is you can uh, go to rummage sales and you can go out in the field and, and see a million items and learn that way. But if you wanna learn what's worth money, rather than going on eBay and scrolling through the lists and seeing all the stuff online, if you wanna actually touch it see the size of it uh, look at it from all angles in the physical world see some pricing and all that if you want to know what to find in the raw go study the antique store because at least 50 percent of the cool stuff there that's priced is priced reasonably accurately wouldn't mm -hmm. you agree oh yeah and so you you start to at least i do i start to internalize and uh, memorize and subliminalize what uh, what goes for money and so when I'm out in the field I may see something that I've never seen before but I certainly have seen things that look like it oh yeah for sure and then I snap them up and you're you're that way with cameras mm -hmm. and it's not necessarily because we've been to uh, lots of antique stores where stuff is priced up but it's because we've looked at a lot of cameras so yep. exactly. I can I can go to 50 rummage sales and only see two or three super scores but if i know what they are i'm gonna pick them out yep when i see a camera i haven't seen before it's pretty rare nowadays <laughs> so it's sort of uh it's sort of like a museum that you can buy stuff a lot of the stuff is overpriced and you really can't make money on too much but it's uh it's like going to school all right so we got a antique place right here buckeyes and across Antique Fest. Who knows? So we're going to try to pull something out of somewhere. Okay, well, Abilene, Kansas, lots of nice stuff here at mm -hmm. these three or four stores. High-end stuff, high-end signs, cool dealer cars, on and on and on and on. But, you know, it's all priced right for, mm -hmm. uh, you know, 20% less in retail or whatever. So. Yeah. We found uh, some cameras to look at and uh, you know, saw some things we never saw. Mm -hmm. Saw some things I've bought and sold before. Yep. Got edumacated. Yep. Anything else? We made a good camera lead. Good camera lead. Yep. So, Abilene, Kansas has some really interesting history. I mean, it was founded in 1857, so it's one of the oldest towns out here. Pretty of course, old. it's the birthplace of Eisenhower. Is that the guy they call Ike? Yeah. I, well, no. Eisenhower. I thought it said Eisenhower. Ike Eisenhower, we'll have to figure that yeah, out. Yeah, have to figure that out. But either way, birthplace birthplace of one of the famous presidents. One of these famous Prezi apparently. dudes. Mm -hmm. Apparently. We love all of them, right? Mm -hmm. Okay, uh, we got to get on our way. We just, uh, we blew, I blew my free Bud Light or whatever the celebration for staying in our hotel beer is. Free beer, free, yeah. free whatever. So that always sucks. I don't think we're going to make it. Unless we had found something, I guess. Yeah. You know, we haven't got out a lot, so. Nope. 
pretty fun. Surprised how many antique stores are down here, smaller town. It is one of those downtown antique things, and so you you do get some really good stuff, but you got to be prepared to to pay up. But we did get a camera lead, some guy with 300 cameras of various sorts, mm -hmm. and we'll hopefully get a list from him. For the most part, it seems higher end too, which is what we're looking for. Always what we're looking for. So it all comes back. Plus, we made some contacts with the store owners here. Mm -hmm. And that's always important if you're going to come back. And after they see you two, three times, they remember that you're looking for cameras and or whatever. Yep. And what they'll do is they'll say, hey, you know, I talked to that one guy I told you about. Da, 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 da. I mean, we don't even know what the heck they're talking about anymore. They remember us. Exactly. Yep. And then they throw us stuff. So there you go. Secret is out. Mm -hmm. <laughs> On the road. We got to get there. Oh, he ate it all. Yeah. Mmm. Mm. Time for some bucks. NBA. Tomorrow we'll be here soon. He's following us. What? Are you following us around? Yeah. Why are these things following us? I don't 